represent the integers in 7 through 12 in decimal notation. So we have 110110 with this subscript 2. This 2 means that this number is being represented in binary notation, which means each of these zeros and ones tells me which powers of 2 I need to add together to represent this integer in decimal notation. Table 2.5.1 provides the powers of 2, and so from here we can see which powers of 2 we're going to need. We don't need the first one because the first digit here is a zero. We do need the two because there's a one there. There's a one here, which means we do need the four. We don't need the eight, and we do need the next two powers of two, which is the 16 and the 32. The rest of these we don't need because the binary notation is cut off from there. So now we just need to add up all of these powers of two. We need 32 plus 16 plus four plus two which is 54. And to clarify that this is in decimal notation, we can use a subscript 10 to make sure the reader knows that this number is in decimal notation. Thanks everyone and I'll see you in the next video.